Alright, welcome back everyone, and here we are at the Karen Higashi residence. It's the one with a huge underground secret facility. It's uh, some sort of a laboratory. There should be some uh, storytelling. I'm going to see if I can keep an eye out for that to see if there's any indication of what was going on here. I don't think I've ever really taken my time to search this place. That's why I'm getting a fresh start today. Alright, let's hit it. Also got to fetch the supplies, so I'm on the lookout for those. And I don't need that guy. Any of you guys, for that matter, bothering me later on. There, finally. <laughs> it's like 30 bullets later. And now I've got zombies. Great. Get out of here. All right, now let's get in here. Oh, sliding door there. That's pretty fancy. Probably a zombie in this closet right here, if I had to guess. Nope. Whoa. Oh, geez, I thought that plant was a person. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. All right, immediately out and around here. Yeah, this is this has to be pretty brutal as a tier five because it's already such tight quarters as it is downstairs in the basement. I mean, there's just nowhere to go. You gotta deal with all the zombies, you know, right downstairs. I guess we could try and drag them up here, but <laughs> you know, lim you know what we should do? We should like make multiple exits. Once we get down to the ground level, I'll carve out some of the doors so we have somewhere to run to. Yeah, like, stuff like this just should be removed, so I have somewhere to jump out. Right, yep. Yeah. Right around here somewhere should be nice, like that door right there, for sure. And this one here, for sure. Remove that. Whoop, nice of you to drop in. There, that'll help in case of an emergency. Oh, hey, skill point right there. Could maybe spend that. I think uh, my plan was to go into intellect more. There's a few things that we need. Probably grease monkey, advanced engineering. Intellect it is. Oh, yeah, maybe lock picking too, because that will increase our chances of getting workstation magazines, interestingly. And that's really holding us back right now, is that we don't have the crucible yet. Oh, what's this go do? Uh, that opened the vault door downstairs, and I think I know roughly where that was. I think that was down here. Is this, is this, isn't this the exit though? Cause I broke that door in. I think the way you're supposed to go though is this way. Probably it all just links up to each other anyway. Get back. Whoa, hello there. Did you know what I'm starting to notice is that, you know, it, it seems like magazines have replaced, you know, things like items in loot. I, I, I'm a little bit disappointed now that I've played long enough that uh, you don't just like, I don't think you'd ever just find a TAC assault rifle out in the world somewhere. I think everything here on my tool belt... Well, I guess I found the steel shovel in, like, a car. But that was a quest reward. Most of these were just quest rewards. Or crafted. It'd be nice to find, you know, some of your stuff. Some percentage of it, anyway. Ah, yes, over here through the secret door thing. Yep, this is it. Oh, and there's, like, a, a grocery scanner in case you need to, like, you know, scan your bananas before you go inside. <laughs> You think they can come up with like a dedicated keycard reader? Oh, geez. Well, that's on an auto automated like sensor there. Okay, I have a feeling that melee is probably not going to be the uh, the go-to option here pretty soon. There's your loot stash down there. Feral whites. Oh, oh, something happened. Run away. <laughs> Are they behind me? Yes, they are kind of behind me. One guy. Okay, that's just a little teaser probably. Here we go. Elevator's locked down the escalator. I feel very uh, uneasy about this because um, I've been here before, of course, but everything is very much different now. Oh, and then there's just the whole thing where like, you know, zombies will just, um, doors will automatically open. Zombies will be directly behind you. You get pinned. Yes, just be very, very careful here. Got a couple barrels here. That could come in handy. Oh, okay, some uh, some gun stuff in there. I do want some of that. They don't make it particularly easy to get to, though. How about a gun in here and one shotgun part? Great. I can't say no to all these free electrical parts, though. Now, I was thinking, I don't think I've done a single day of dedicated iron mining. We do need to soon, because I'm gonna have to make darts for Horde Knight, and we're gonna run out of iron that way. But um, I've gotten all of my iron so far just from salvaging things and finding it and whatever else. Okay, those are usable if I need them. Gas barrel here, extra fuel. Okay, tight quarters here though. I hear a zombie, but I think it's a, like a regular zombie topside. Oh, okay, yeah, before, before I forget, first of all, then secondly, before things get crazy here, let me pull up a picture. I'm getting a puppy. Uh, puppy was just born a couple of weeks ago. 
and um, I need some name suggestions. So I'll be getting the puppy in September. So it's gonna be a while here. I don't know which one is which in this photo here. <laughs> I, I'll get some more pictures and I'll show you guys along the way. Oh, good morning there. What's going on here? Not much, pretty quiet place so far, honestly. Whoops, got, that's a runner, ow. Who are you? Law blind, get out of here. Damn, they definitely need to get some more diplomas here. Look, Will Tickle is all over the place. So the puppy is a greyhound and uh, it'll be my first puppy that I've had in like, you know, since I was a kid basically. So um, I've rescued the dogs that I have, but um, in case you don't know, greyhounds, typically you get a greyhound from like a racing, with a racing background because um, they're usually retired from you know, a racetrack and then they have to go to a, a home after that. So that's been my thing for a long time, but they've been uh, outlawing racing in a few states. And so the, I guess you could say the supply of greyhounds has been kind of sparse. And so we were like, you know what? We've rescued a couple. Why don't we look into getting a puppy now? David Stoner here. So yeah, it's gonna be my first puppy in like ages, uh, at least almost 20 years probably. Well, you hate to speak too soon, but this place has been pretty boring so far. I know it's gonna get crazy. It's just a matter of time. <laughs> we're, we're getting there, I'm sure. Uh, where do I go next? I'm a little bit turned around here. Oh, is it supposed to be this way? No, I've already been in there. Oh, these stupid sledgehammer magazines, man. They're everywhere and I'm almost to the point where I should pretty much, I should stop finding them as much. I'm pretty sure what happens is once you get maxed out on that, your bonus from like me specking into sledgehammers, that doesn't affect magazine drop probability anymore. So it'll just revert back to its like its base probability, which would be, you know, one in 25 or whatever. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, there's this thing and then it drops down to that. Is that where I'm supposed to go? I mean, they, they made it a point to really like point that out to you. You can see it from two directions. Okay, there we go. And then you're supposed to drop down. Oh, that's lovely. I, I really like that idea. Okay. Well, do I have anything I can do here? <laughs> could I um, maybe just get a little bit of preemptive first aid into me? And uh, here we go. Yep, there it is. Okay, not, not terribly bad. The old razzle dazzle here. Whoa, geez, another guy. Can I close that door? I guess not. Okay, that was... Uh, survivable. I've got a switch here though. Kind of scared of that. Can I get some food? Sham chowder maybe? Uh, I'll take it. And I really like that I have that water purifier mod because I can just drink the murky water as I go. Don't even have to worry about being hydrated and I get some stamina regen on top of that. Kitchen area. Okay, got a couple guys over here. Nothing too crazy looks like. Let's see if I can get a mega crush here. Nope. Too easy. Oh, oh here we go. Here we go. Yes. Yep. Yeah, up here into the secret ventilation duct that's conveniently man-sized so that you can crawl through here. Not even crawl, just like walk through. Okay, dropping in again. Here we go. Oh, what do we got? One, two, and close that. I can't close that door. Finish you off. How about some recog. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Let's see if I can down that right before the big boss battle at the end. Okay, so far so good. Back into the... Uh, the tunnels in the wall, I think. Here we go. All right, who's in the closet here? Certainly there's somebody in the closet. There always is. Yeah, I saw your little arms. Whoa, someone's behind me. I'm bleeding. Wow, that's a lot of zombies here. Okay, that worked. Let's get some first aid on. There we go. Hey, there we go. A f in a duffel bag, a, a sports bag of all things, I get a piece of armor. I'm telling you, like sports bags, duffel bags. Backpacks, cars, trucks, things like that. That's your best places to get items these days. Okay, so far I haven't seen the satchel. I don't think that necessarily means it's that I haven't seen it yet or I haven't crossed the path yet, but I just remembered it. It's kind of over in this direction, so I'll try to keep that in the back of my mind. Go, oh, spider. There we go, two more magazines and I'll be done. Okay, C2, we are now. Where are we going? Oh, up. Up to C1. There's a zombie up here. Or somewhere at least. Hello? Are you in here? Possibly. Oh, there's a couple people in here. Now I'm surrounded. Great. Ah! Oh, jeez! Ow! Okay. Uh, first aid kit and turn and fight. I don't know where everyone came from. That's the, the Alpha 21 thing. It's just like, you just don't know where they're coming from. 
There we go. One more. Biker. Yeah, some of them were in here. Some of them were in here. Some people came from behind me. From down here somewhere, maybe. I don't know. Ooh, that impact driver is working great. This thing is awesome. It's definitely in a situation where I should go outside and stash up. Also, I would love to have, like, just a way to get outside at this point. Although, I think I'm in the basement, so... Hard luck. Can I go through the freaking rooftop, maybe? Okay, I think I'm back roughly where I left off here. Yep, this was the spot right here. Gotta just jump through this. Yep, okay. Jeez, I hate these things. Okay, we're all good, though. Oh, man. It's basically there's no way back, because um, I'd have to, like, put... Well, I could put a ladder up there, but... You know what? Probably not a bad idea. Let's put a ladder there. I talked myself into it, because you know what I could do is that you know, if there's too many zombies and I'm bleeding or something, I could just run over there, jump up on the ladder, and we should be safe. Okay, yep, here we go. Zombies. Not too many of them. Eh, I'll just have a little bit of fun with these ones. Oh my god! These guys are <laughs> explosion-proof. What are we playing? Rebirth or something? Explosion-resistant zombies? Oh, also quite resistant to just getting bashed with a sledgehammer. Ah, uh, okay, so... Now we're getting into, like, the storytelling part. So we've had, like, logistical stuff, but here they were definitely experimenting on someone and taking pelvic x-rays and stuff. Ah! Oh, jeez. Bleeding. Okay, patch that up, please. Bleeding is just so common. With, uh... Oh my god, now I'm done. Whoa, great. And infected. I had honey, too. I left it in the motorcycle. Oh right, uh, someone told me in a comment recently that you can harvest those for blood bags, which I never knew. I don't know if that's new or not, it's just new to me. Alright, we're getting toward the end then. Oh, jeez, scared the crap out of me. Alright, make sure we're staying topped off here with the painkiller. Oh, that looks totally suspicious. Oh, mutated! Barrel white. Oh, you guys got nothing. Oh, there's my satchel right there. Nice. Ooh, so they got like multiple clocks, so some sort of like a international control room here. Ooh, a button. Which, um... What happened there? I have one zombie on the compass. Oh, here he is. Ah, Angus. Slow down, buddy. Ow. Oh, there's another... Oh, did that open this here? A little bit of, like, a science room. Oh, yeah, watch my six here. Keep getting stuck on goopy bodies. First aid. Oh, fort bites. Perfect. I love it when I get fort bites right before, like, a big anticipated fight. Okay, so this this is the big fight then, right? Yeah, because we're going to run out there. There's going to be mutated, feral whites, all that jazz. It's all right. I got the parkour for it. So we're going to want fort bites for sure. And I have the recog still. Take that. Um, We'll start things off with the shotgun, I guess, and open this up. I don't think there's any real point in sneaking. Usually my strategy is to just get the high ground as quickly as possible. There are some zombies in the the green goopy stuff over there. Maybe I'll kick things off by blowing them up. Let's just send a few pipe bombs down there. And one more for the money, and that'll kick things off for us. One kill out of that. Okay, let's do this. Oh, they're on me already. Ah, okay, run, 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 run. Oh boy, they're everywhere. Okay, I'm on the ground again. Keep running and running and jumping, running and gunning, you could say, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's bring them in here uh, for a little bit of a bottleneck. Whoop, they're everywhere. Okay, keep running. Okay, got a good chance to reload here. Let's take it. Oh, I'm thirsty too. That's hurting the uh, stamina regen a little bit. Oh, they're stuck in the, the bulletproof glass, I guess. Hey, I'll take it. I think this is the end anyway. We've done it. Yes! Couple more here. One season two. Oh, look out! Radiation! Wait for that to clear up a little bit. Okay, it should be good. Are you the last one? You're the last one on the compass, at least. Let's find out. Yes! Mission complete! Screamer topside, though, so let's make sure we're working this loot. Here we go. Overall, nothing to write home about so far. Shotgun turret bundle, a bunch of really crappy gear. I finally got some gear, but it's freaking level one. Well, I'll take it anyway. We didn't even get a loot bag today off of these zombies. All right, at this point, I'm just, you know, 
pick in bits and pieces. Could get some steel off that if I wanted to. I don't want to. And how are we getting out of here? That goes... Oh, hello. Shotguns, freaking sh uh, sledgehammer parts, my goodness. They are everywhere. Uh, oh, is this the way out then over here? I seem to recall this being the way. There's some water for me, dehydrating very badly. Oh, she screamed. Why did she do that? Okay, I can't run though. I have to just take this very cautiously and carefully. Reload a little bit. She's screaming again. Open this door. Oh, here we go. Yep, this is where I came out to go stash the bike, so we should be good here. Uh, hello? Here we go. Oh, there they are. There's a loot bag. Yep, kill you immediately. Another loot bag. What the hell? The game heard my pleas. Oh, and now I'm critically dehydrated. What? How did I dehydrate? Oh, the fort bites, you think, maybe? I don't know. That seemed like, um... I dehydrated very quickly. Alright, start drinking the water here. Golden rod, that helps. Alright, well, Karen Higashi residence, done. You know, in hindsight, with regard to the storytelling there at the Karen Higashi residence, it seems to me that those two vats, the, the A and the O, might stand for the Alpha and the Omega, and those contained a feral white and a mutated zombie, respectively. So maybe that was the big deal here after all. This is where they combined two types of zombies or something to create some other kind of a monster. It right, should be just in time to check our quest reward with Jenny. Hey girl, what you got for me? Oh, military helmet, triple mod. Okay, that's uh, not great, honestly. Crafting skill magazine bundle it is, I suppose. Yep, nothing else there I want. Vanity tower. Hmm. Or crack a book I HQ. Will. Yeah, I feel like I feel like Vanity Tower is its Thanks, own the whole Maybe episode, probably. Down. So I'll take the crack a book for now and uh 34. Yep. Yeah. Restock days tomorrow. Episodes. No eye candy. Vehicle adventures. That's fine, fine. We're done with sledgehammers. It's all over. And we're up to 71 on shotguns. Probably should look into getting an auto shotgun then soon. And then before she closes, the obligatory check on the vending machine. Ha! Huh, still not working. Okay, put some more stuff in here. There, I'm just gonna keep piling stuff in there until one of those uh, stacks of stone cells. All right, everything's put away back here at the base and I'm rolling on cement mix. I'm rolling on just smelting some stuff and I'm making some concrete blocks and I think it's time to come out. I'm gonna finish off the, the top side project here real quick. That's just gonna consist of me coming up here, finishing off the pad, laying down a nice concrete layer of blocks. And I don't even know that this is now necessary with the whole fence, but I'm not ready to kind of you know, rely 100% on the new fence system. If anything, this is just a good fail safe for us. And then next up, we're just finishing off the fence. And during the last Horde Night, we had one little divot on the perimeter that was dug down. So I am gonna just go ahead and make the lip and then we'll call it good after that. All right, that is a done deal. The last thing we have to do is basically figure out a system for SMG turrets and or shotgun turrets. I think at this point I've got five shotgun turrets. So yeah, let's have a look at that. Ammo here. Well, oh geez, not as many well, actually no i have all these boxes over here i could tap into all right should have a few extra shapes that have been rolling in the workbenches and um i want to use these out here because i've left um i've left some spots open here so that i can put some more pipes in at least uh that's that's gonna be the idea let's get started on that see what it looks like okay so in order to get this symmetrical and looking good i think i'll go one further just like this one more on that side right and then i'm gonna i'm gonna run a pipe in the wall here and then i think i'm gonna also run like vertical pipes in uh, in the middle here all right let's at least um okay i'm <laughs> i'd rather do this out of wood but i'm gonna risk it and just go with the concrete for now okay and then my idea was to come in the middle and like connect the pipes like so so basically, so there's like a vertical connection kind of like this. And I've been paying attention while we're out in those POIs and seeing how the <laughs> fun pimps do the whole pipe connection thing. And this seems to be what they go with right there. And then I think probably just regular pipes in the middle here. That brings us to the vertical pipes, which really should be as simple as this here. I don't think this will cause any significant issues. Maybe some pathing issues around here. Maybe the zombies will just crawl under it. I'm not sure. And then same convention where the pipe connects will have that kind of flanged end. Then just regular pipes straight up and down, I guess. You could uh, make the case that there should be some spikes coming off. I don't want to do spikes up here though, because that's just going to obstruct probably 
visibility to some degree and I don't want zombies to think they can jump onto the side of a spike, you know, and just crawl over to me that way. Okay, and that's that's it right there, I think. So that system is done. It's looking uh, very Super Mario Brothers in here now. <laughs> I'm really liking it. I've been kind of wondering what it would look like to have a security gate plate on top of them, kind of like this. Would that look kind of weird? I mean, I, don't, I wouldn't say it looks weird. I don't know. Let me know what you think about that. I'm going to leave it up here for a day just until I decide how I like that. Hmm. Yeah. Not too terribly bad. We'd have to paint it first, I think. And that kind of matches the whole security gate thing that we have going on here. And it kind of goes well with the, like, you know, the vertical lines from these fences and the horizontal lines from the security gates. I kind of like it. I'm kind of talking myself into it. I'll think about it, though. One big project at a time. The next big project, I think, tonight will be to... I'm going to raise the roof by... I think one block out here because I don't like how it's so cramped up here. Yeah, this this two block tall thing is is not going to fly. This needs to be three blocks tall plus, you know, one more for the ceiling. And then I've also been thinking about what we're going to do for the roof here because I was thinking about running a pipe in the roof and a, uh, or a, in the ceiling and then another pipe in the floor like we're doing right here. But honestly... I think one is enough. So yeah, we'll get to that in a little bit. And I'm also, I, you know, some people have been commenting about this as the, the paint texture for the pipes. Yeah, you know, we'll see how it looks once I get everything else done and then uh, I'm flexible on that being the, the final color there. Okay, I think we're off to Shotgun Messiah. So let me get the inventory squared away and I'll meet you over there. All right, here we are at the Crack of Book Tower. Yeah, I was gonna say I passed by a dog on the way here. There he is. Okay, so there was this little event over here the other day. Uh, sometimes when I'm filming, I the things just don't go the way I expected, or you know, they don't. It, it's not gonna like fit in between scenes. And there was a demo here, a wild demo, and I hit him in the button before I ran off, and he blew up right in the middle of the street. So <laughs> just FYI on that one. Like when I'm doing the cutscene, you know, uh, before I get to a POI, I don't want something to kind of interrupt the flow. So anyway, here we go. Let's get in here. Right. Lock and load. I should be good. I bought some, um, I checked the vending machine at Jen's and I bought some like uh, water over there to hydrate. But they, she did, no one is carrying the friggin' eye candy. I wish there was a recipe for that. I'd, I'd make a hundred of them. I just would focus solely on making eye candy because I just, we're, otherwise we're not getting good enough loot in my opinion. And, okay, yeah, this is always just a, a complete fiasco here. What if I pick up some chairs and scrap them down into wood? Can I, can I make a hatch? Wood hatch, a few more pieces of wood, I should have it. I know it's a bit cheesy, but this POI is friggin' cheesy, so I'm not, I'm not, um, guilty about this at all. Not feeling guilty. So, all right. Yeah, we run through here. Cause look, I've got 25 zombies already. All right, just make sure we got plenty of tree. Oh, and rads, of course. Yeah, lovely. All right, set that off for him. That helps a lot. The rest of you, I can just take with the shotgun, I think. Yeah, what is this? 30 freaking zombies here. Look at that, 12,800 uh, XP. <laughs> All right, maybe we'll do the hatch thing more often. I'll start picking up chairs while I'm here. I forget though. Oh, there's a hand right there. I was gonna say, was, was that it or no? We've got a whole nother pile of zombies to take care of out here on this level. Lots and lots of businessmen around here. Fortunately, the ferals get stuck behind the regulars and it really slows things down for me. Whoa. I think I brought extra ammo. I have a feeling I'm gonna need it. I haven't used my sledgehammer yet. Yes, yeah, see, I'm doing the right thing. The, the flanged thing at the ends, wherever it turns or wherever there's like a, a junction. Okay, just popping up into this little office thing here. There used to be, wasn't there a weapons bag in here at one point? And now it's just an ammo pile. It's kind of lame. Just scrap that crap. Oh, there's like a key box now to get out of here. That's fun. Okay, all set for this level up to the rooftop now. Oh yeah, there's a big fight out here. A big fight with birds and dogs. Okay, take care of the one bird there and we'll just run the rest of them. Yep, just 
just take care of the birds first, first and foremost. And then parkour up to here. Make sure my stamina's good. Oh my goodness, look at them all. So many of them. All right, so far so good. Up to this part. Oh, they were ready for me. And maybe I'll air burst one for these guys. Take that. Did nothing. Try it again. Whoa, jeez, they're coming up behind me. There we go. That helped. And we're good. We lost a spider downstairs, though. Drum mag. Ooh, nice. Can I put that on my uh, attack AR? Very cool. Where are all the zombies that I'm seeing? Oh, they're all just in these rooms, I guess. Here they are. A dog bailing over the side, along with Karen over there. Right, okay, so this this level here is not particularly exciting. I think it's when you get down there, things get a little spicy. All right, who's waiting for me down here? Surely there's a whole bunch of people. And I can't really get outside. I guess we're just gonna, you know, run around in circles. Seems to work nine times out of 10. Oh yeah, that duckbill mod, loving it. Okay, there are still some zombies. Oh, there's one. Ah, get that can of chili out of your face. Yeah, where are they? They're either up or down. I don't know. There's freaking zombies all over the... Ow, whoa, right behind me, I guess. Okay, well, good time for a bandage, I guess. Oh, is that the new way to go downstairs? I feel like that's a little bit different. A couple more books here I missed. One for shotguns, one for armor. That's leather and iron armor up to quality four. Probably worth looking into because I'm wearing like scrap legs and scrap boots. Over here. Oh, this also goes down in two different locations. Okay, something's different here. There's the spider that's been chasing me. Okay, I'm gonna try this side first. It's got the weapons bag, which has, yeah, all of nothing in it. What's new? Which goes to the elevator, which goes to... Whoops. What's happened here? Uh, there's a, there's a dog somewhere. I don't exactly know where. I don't know where he is. Anyway, it's time. Recog, Fort Bites. Okay, Biker Book Club in there. Everybody else, follow me, please. Gonna see if I can bring him to this side over here. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Yep, see if I can get a good gaggle of him over here to blow him up. This is kind of like my favorite thing to do around here. Okay, it's time, the rads are here. Get back, get back. Oh, that was okay. I've seen better. I think there's that dog I've been hearing all along here. Extra pipe bomb. Oh, there's all the bikers. Man, it, I was wondering where they all were. Not nearly as bad as it usually is around here. Oh, jeez, look out. Come and get it. Oh, so here's... They were having a, some trouble, I guess, on door frames or something. I don't know what they were doing. We have one more on the compass, though. Oh, and it's like... Oh, it's upstairs. Okay, let's get the loot, and then we'll go check it out, see if we can find them. And in the main box here... Oh, jeez, again. Just nothing, really. Food bundle. That's about it. What's in that, anyway? Some gumbo stew. Well, at this point, I'll never have to cook again. I found enough food and made enough food. I got the spaghetti bundle last time, and I've, been, I've had like two of them. All right, so now we gotta go find that last remaining zombie. There he is, right there. I see him. Okay, can I? Yes, I can just make it over here. How did you even get in there, anyway? <laughs> Ran up in here and got completely stuck. There we go. Area is secure. I guess we'll just head out the same way we came in, where it all started, right here. And I'll meet you back at Jen's. Just having a quick stop at the watering hole here. All right, what do we get this time? Oh, yes, finally. Wow, that is a huge jump. The tier five auto shotgun. Yep, that's the one. Oh, and uh, we've got a bundle reward to sort through now. Okay, make some room here. Wow, we're done with the tier fives already. That means we're on to infested tier five starting tomorrow. Solar bank bundle. Wait a minute, is that gonna give me 
solar cells because those are really expensive huh okay i don't i don't know that you can craft it. i think that's like purchase only let's i want to have a look at this and see what this is give me that all right nice i'll open that up in just a second when i get home speaking of home this is what it looks like on the top side so of course it's a little bit shorter or you know smaller area on this end than it is on that end because we're standing you know roughly right here on horde night or so yeah so the the next thing we have to do is now that i got the solar bank maybe we'll set all of this up on solar up here so we don't have to worry about it and then we'll just run the generator downstairs off of gas so yeah i definitely think this is gonna work basically zombies they're gonna say okay i want to dig and this is the spot where i want to dig and instead of actually what they don't do is they don't go all the way around this way and then, you know, turn the corner and come back here and dig. That's not what they do. They want to go straight there. And so they'll just get hung up here on the fence. You can see where it's broken a little bit. I think that's from the zombies that wanted to go dig. Yeah, actually, a lot of these fences are slightly damaged. Kind of makes me think, uh, you know, how about some electric fences up here or something? No, anyway. So, um, yeah, I think this basically prevents them from going into dig mode. I know it's it doesn't look great. I'd have to kind of brainstorm a way to do the same thing, but have it look a little bit better. I'm not exactly sure how I would go about that. Okay, so that leaves basically the only big project left is the ceiling in here and then the shaft going up. And then we're pretty much done after that. It'll just be about kind of aesthetics and, you know, painting and little bits and pieces for de decoration. And yeah, that's about it. All right, let's get this stuff put away. Okay, in terms of the solar bank bundle, that's containing... Oh, it's everything that you need. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, I'm really glad that I took that one now and some wiring books up to 85. Then eh, we're just working on battery quality anyway, so no big deal there. Okay, that wow, that changes everything. That means that top side, okay, so top side we're going to run solar and okay, we could set everything up off of uh we could set it off switches, I guess, because what I want to do is maybe have a battery bank down here now and run a wire to it so that we can charge batteries during the daytime and then while we're here maybe we'll just have like a master switch like we run inside hit the switch everything turns on yeah yeah i'm starting to like the sound of that okay we'll work on that in a little bit still working on mix over here okay almost done finally there's just so much of it now i've made good use of that whole box of stone that we had yeah look at the mix we have <laughs> like like twenty thousand of it speaking of twenty thousand, look at the 20 blade traps that we have and i've really just not even thought of a way to integrate that into the base just yet or even if we will oh and the other thing was have a look at the damage on the shotgun so we were doing like 18 base damage per pellet with 10 pellets on the pump shotgun now up to 32. This thing is going to be a beast. But for now, we just got regular work to do. All right, let's get up here and start digging. All right, here we go. We're just gonna work on expanding out the balcony, expanding up the ceiling, just making plenty of room here. And then we'll hopefully get a sense of what we need to do for like future lighting. And there's also something that you can do where you basically string electric fences across the opening so that every time a zombie falls down, they're going to pass through a layer of electric fences. A long time ago, I thought that that would stop them from going into rage mode, but I've since learned that, that it doesn't stop them from going into rage mode. They'll still land and they'll go into rage mode. It might make it a little bit less frequent, but really what it would be about is just kind of like, you know, doing a little bit of damage to the zombies before they hit the ground. Someone is just getting lit up topside and starting to get trickier and trickier trying to work out a way for me to get the scaffolding so that I can access these blocks to knock down and then there's uh I'm having difficulty kind of like seeing the final product here it's looking kind of rough right now for sure I've run out of cobblestone I'm onto the concrete blocks all right but I think I'm seeing what needs to be done here I'm just gonna do ramp shapes to kind of break up the border where it sort of flushes up with the wall. I'm gonna do what I should have done all along and just make a friggin' permanent scaffolding up here instead of trying to finagle the seven frames that I had. And now just gonna take off one more layer of rock and then we'll replace that with concrete and call it a day. And wouldn't you know it, I'm short by about uh, nine blocks or so, great. Yep, fortunately I got some backups here in the workbench. All right, there it is, the final product here. Maybe, maybe I'll put some pipes in along the ceiling. We'll see how it all looks. Uh, I think the next step is probably painting. That'll give us the sort of definitive idea of what everything is looking like and what's missing. All right, oh yes, oh, the pipes there. So yeah, the pipes there could 
potentially kind of link up with each other and kind of wrap wrap all the way around uh, i'm not sure how that would all look what if the pipe kind of ran along here though all the way around would that look would that look strange yeah kind of kind of like this i'm just going to set up a temporary system here to see what it looks like that's what that would look like i don't know i don't know maybe we got to put some spikes on it or something to make it look a little bit better and eh, we'll get to that later on that leaves the only major project here is to basically carve out all of this stone and put in a ceiling in here although i kind of do like the the contrasting color uh, i've already started over here and it doesn't really flush up against the wall over here so yep scratch that plan <laughs> look at the stone i just got off the ceiling there oh it's insane how much stone i've got and don't forget i mean there's like i don't know there's over I think there's like 13 stacks of it that are just sitting in the vending machine over at Jen's. Oh, and I had a few people mention that they um, they think that I should put a a trigger plate up here on top of this, like a, a, a five by one trigger plate so that when the zombies come up, that'll trigger the dart trap instead of wasting a bunch of darts. And you can't do that in this configuration. I mean, I haven't tested it, but I do know for a fact that if I say put a security gate in this block plane right here like so and i just did those three pieces like that and even if they were just out of wood that breaks the zombie pathing so they would not think that they could come up and crawl up over this you know it has to be the top of the ladder has to be clear unless it's a hatch and um i just don't know i'd have to do some testing uh, to see if um a trigger plate would count as um, a shape in which the, you know they can't path over because you know now that I'm, I'm thinking about it I'm kind of convincing myself to do it but on the other hand uh, a trigger plate there is going to the second the cop blows up here it's gone and it, even if a cop blows up here probably the AOE would be enough to destroy it and we've got demos coming I think soon let's have a look at the game stage 163 so 147 is the threshold for demos so we'll see demos all horde night this time so yeah I don't think a trigger plate is the best idea for this right here we could think about doing like um uh, some sort of a trigger, a uh, trip wire. I the only way that I could get that to work would be to put the trip wire here, then dig down and put a trip wire down here and, and kind of cover that up. That could work. Also, I need to put something on the front of that so that that doesn't get blown up. Oh, also you need to put something on front of in front of this so this doesn't get all blown up and. You know what I was thinking about doing for that is one of these because what people told me is that cops can't spit through this or at least it's very difficult for them to so if we put it like this it's like a ladder so we you know spiders and stuff could get velcroed to it but if we put it like this i think that will be good it'll both allow the light to shine through without obstructing it and it'll protect from like errant cop vomit basically in case like a radiated cop is down here because you know they got like the the triple spit and you never know where that's gonna wind up you know so that would that would look something like that that's a nice little railing there too i do i do like that i wonder if cops can spit through the fence like that though because that would like fit the aesthetic of the base a lot better yep okay it's starting to come together here a little bit okay in, in order to test and see if a wire would even reach that far let's um let's just set something up here so if i put a switch here and a switch here is that gonna reach well, it reached to the dart trap. Yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna end up being too far away. Ah, come on, man. Hmm. Well, I do have the sense that it would be far enough. Okay, it's almost done. I've got the trip wires. So the way I think it would have to work is gonna be trip wire there. I'd have to dig out two of these, put a trip wire there which I should be then able to reach down there. Ooh, that worked. Oh, it worked, but I'm off by a block actually. My bad, that's right. That's why I took out the dart trap there because it's actually supposed to go here. We'll have to put something on, on the front face to kind of prevent that from getting damaged. So this then connects to that. Tell me that works. That does work. And that will then connect to a dart trap that's going to be like that. And I'm suddenly trapped out of my base. Right, so that will activate the dart trap from now on. We'll just hook this into that. And we'll hook um, I, we'll hook that tripwire over there off of like a lamp or something. As soon as I can figure out how to get 
back in my base here. Yep, just bring it off the lamp post here. Okay, cover that up with a little pair of shutters. I think that's good to go now. Let's just test it. Yep, it's cycling. That is gonna work. Perfect. Oh, that's good. I'm glad I did that. Okay, so that's the new way into the base for now until I, I gotta basically build a tunnel that comes down uh, over here. Maybe like make this into a door, bring it over there a little bit because I don't want zombies to think that they can use the ladder. I want it to be far enough away. Uh, or you could just do a sort of switch back ladder like we do going up where it goes up and it switches to another lane that throws the zombies off. They can't figure that out either. All right, I think that'll just about do it tomorrow. What are we doing tomorrow? Oh. We found Jennifer's map, yes. So Jennifer's treasure map is now uh, available to us. There's an airdrop up there, but really what I'm most interested in is Vanity Tower. I would like to do that in the next episode, but our only option really is gonna be infestation, which should be a real mess of a good time. So we'll pick things up in a couple of hours, but anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Hey everyone. I just want to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.